Hello po le mga mamin sir. Uh, nandito po li ako si Sir Manal. Okay? Para turuan ninyo mga anak about mathematics. Okay? Ngayong araw, uh, ituturo ko naman ngayon uh, ay tungkol sa arithmetic sequence. Okay? Siyempre, alam Bago ko nag-umpisa, inaalam ko muna, ilaanam muna natin kung ano yung definition ng arithmetic sequence. Ano ba ang definition ng arithmetic sequence? In arithmetic, an arithmetic progressions or AP or arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. Okay? Sabi daw, yung pagkasunod-sunod ng numero neto ay nakaanto siya, constant siya. Ibig sabihin, halimbawa, 2, 4, 6, 8, constant siya na ganun. Okay? Difference here means the second minus. Hindi yung parang, hindi parang 5, 10, 11. Hindi siya naka-constant yun. Okay? Difference here means the second minus, the second minus the first. The sum of a finite arithmetic progression is called an arithmetic series. Okay po? Siyempre, Merong formula yan. At saka siya nga po pala, uh, kung inyo pong napanood yung isa ko pang video, kasi dalawa kasi ang sequence na yan, meron tinatawag na geometric sequence at meron ding arithmetic sequence. Okay po. Sa geometric sequence, nagawang ko na po siya. It's all about multiplication. Yung, yung geometric sequence. Ito naman, ito, itong arithmetic sequence, addition to. Most in addition. Okay? Although, yung formula niya, meron na namang multiplication. Okay? Pero kung hindi mo gagamitin kasi yung formula ng arithmetic sequence, puro addition lang yun. Mag-add ka lang na mag-add. Okay? Ito po yung formula niya. Ayan. Arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence has a common difference. The formula for the nth term is a sub n equals a plus open parenthesis n minus 1, close parenthesis, times d. Okay. Tandaan niyo po, yung a sub n, yun, tinata, yun yung kailangan nating hanapin. Okay. Halimbawa, find the, the 11th term. Yun yung n, yung 11th term na kailangan nating hanapin. The term of the sequence. A, ito naman yung first term of the sequence. Kanwari, ah, uh, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yung first, first term doon, yung 2. Okay po. Tapos yung D, common difference. Ano ba yung, ano ba yung common difference? Okay, kunwari din. Halimbawa, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yung common difference yun ay 2. Kasi lahat sila pwede i-plus sa 2. Para maging, halimbawa, ito, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Kaya naging 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay po. Kaya ang common difference doon sa 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is 2. Okay? Ito halimbawa. 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. Okay? Yung first term dyan ay yung 4. Okay? Then, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. Yung kanyang common difference ay 3. Bakit? 4 plus 3. 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 3, 16, 16 plus 3, 19, 19 plus 3, 22. Okay? Ganun po siya. Yun yung common difference. Then, ayan nga, yung 4 is the first term, 7 is the second term, 10 is the mm, third, third term, 13 is the fourth term, 16 is the fifth term, and etc. Okay? Ganun po siya. Okay. Tawa pa tayo. Suppose we have the arithmetic sequence. Ayan. 5, 12, 19, 26, 33, 40, 41, 54. Okay? Tapos ang tanong is, find the 10th term and the 75th term. Okay? Siyempre, kailangan muna natin alamin yung formula. Okay? 
Ang formula niya, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus open parenthesis n minus 1 close parenthesis times d. Okay? Ngayon, ang kanyang d or yung kanyang tau common difference is 7. Bakit? 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 7, 19. 19 plus 7, 26. 26 plus 7, 33. 33 plus 7, 40. 40 plus 7, 47. 47 plus 7, 54. Kaya ang kanyang common difference is 7. Okay? Ayan. A sub 10. Okay? Yung N. Papalitan natin ng 10 na. Kasi yung hinahanap natin muna ay yung 10th term. Okay? 5. Yung first term is 5. Okay? Yan yung first term. Then plus, open parenthesis, 10, yung n, kasi yun yung hinahanap natin, 10 minus 1 times 7. Okay? Ngayon, syempre, ang una natin isosolve dyan, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, parang PM dash lang yan. Okay? PM dash parenthesis muna, bago multiplication, bago division, addition, and subtraction. But sometimes, hindi nasusunod minsan ang, ang multiplication, bago division. It's up. Kapag naunang division, siya muna, yung, siya muna yung una mong isosolve bago ang multiplication. Okay po. Therefore, 10 minus 1 equals 9. Then, 9 times 7 equals 63. Tapos, uh, tap, after nyan, 63 plus 5 equals 68. Therefore, siya yung pang 10th term. Okay? Nalaman na natin. Therefore, daw, yung pang 10th term is 68. Ano naman yung pang 75th term? Okay? Ayan. 5 plus, okay, 75. 5 plus, open parenthesis, 75 minus 1, close parenthesis times 7. Minus muna natin 75, maging 74. Then, i-multiply 74 sa 7 equals 518. Then, after natin makuha yung product, get the sum. Kasi plus na. 518 plus 5 equals 523. Therefore, ang pang 75th term is 523. Okay pa? Yan lang siya. Isa pa, halimbawa. 4, 13, 22, 31, 40, 49, 58. Okay? Find the 15th and 20, 222nd term. Okay, syempre, ang common difference niya is 9. Okay, 4 plus 3, 4 plus 9, 13, and so on. Okay? Ngayon, formula niya is A sub N equals A sub 1 plus N, open parenthesis, N minus 1, close parenthesis, times D. Okay? Ayan. A sub 15, kasi hinahanap muna natin yung 15 term. Okay? Tapos, Therefore, 15 minus 1. 15 minus 1 equals 14. Okay? Then, 14 times 9 equals 126. Then, let's add na. Magiging 130 yung, yung 15th term. Okay po? Sunod. Ayan naman. Yung hanapin naman natin na yung 222nd term. Okay? Ganyan siya. I-minus natin yung 222 minus 1 equals 221. Then, 221 times 9 equals 1,989. Then, plus 4 equals 1,993. Yan yung pang 222nd term. 1,993. Okay? Ganun lang siya kadali. Mas madali itong arithmetic kaysa dun sa geometry. Kung bagay, mas, mas madali mo siyang maanuhan, magets. Okay, kasi more in, parang addition lang kasi siya eh. Okay po. Siyempre, bago tayo matapos, uh, uh, may nagbibigay muna ako ng trivia. Ito po. Ayan, sign natin ha. The story is told of a grade school teacher in the 1700s that wanted to keep her class busy while she graded papers. So, she asked them to add up all of the numbers from 1 to 100. So, kwento daw to ng isang teacher na busy daw sa pag ano ng, ano ng graded papers ng mga bata. Kaya ang ginawa niya, binigyan niya ng trabaho yung mga bata. 
pinag yung 1 to 100. Yung 1 to 3, 4, 5, until 100. Ano yung magiging sum yun? Okay po? Ano yung magiging sum yun? Okay. This number are arithmetic sequence. Totoo nga naman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Arithmetic sequence yun. <clears throat> With a common difference, 1. Tama. Common difference niya ay 1. Kasi 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Kaya common difference niya ay 1. Carl Friedrich Gauss. Okay, kayo na lang po mag, ano, ng pinakamagandang pronoun sa pangalan niya was in the class and had the answer in a minute or two. Nandun daw, itong, sa, itong magaling na mathematician na to, si Carl Friedrich, ay, Fre, si Carl Friedrich Gauss. Tapos nasagutan nyo lang ito within a minute or two. Tandaan nyo po, 1700s, that time, wala pang calculators. Okay? Kaya, napakatuloy ng kapag ganun. Diba? Wala kang ginamit na calculator. Matuloy na yung ganong one minute or two. Ito yung ginawa niyang uh, solution. Ayan. Kung nakita, nakita niyo po. Kasi kung inyong mapapansin, meron 50 pairs. Halimbawa, 1 sa 100, 101 yan. Tapos, 2 plus 99, 101. 3 plus 98, 101. 4 plus 97, 101. 5 plus 96, 101. Ito kagad, yung 100 plus 1, 1 pair na kagad yan. 2 at saka 99, 2 pairs na kagad yan. 3 at saka 98, third, 3 pairs na kagad yan. 4 at saka 97, 4. 5 at saka 96, 5 pairs. Pag inanam mo yan, kumabot na ron, magkakaroon yung tinatawag na 50 pairs. Kaya ang ginawa niya, 50 times 101, the product is 5,050. Ganun pala yun. Kapag in mo pala lahat ng 1 to 100, 1 to 100, ang magiging sagot pala dyan is, ang magiging sum pala dyan is 5,050. Ganun yan na sagot ng katulin. Ganun katalino tutong taon to na si Carl Pride Rich Gauss. Okay po? Diba? Hindi mo na kailangan 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus, uh, and 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus, uh, di ba? Parang malilito ka pa. Eh yan, ganyan, sim kasimple. Okay po. In, uh, kaya maswerte tayo dahil may mga ganyang mga mathematician na nakagawa ng madaling formula para masagutan mo ito ng ganun kasimple lang. Okay po. Okay po. Marami marami pong salamat. Sana po may natutunan po kayo at ang inyong mga anak sa lesong ito. Uh, Mag-ingat po tayo sa pandemic at at huwag kalimutan na pag walang knowledge, walang power because power because uh, sorry pag walang knowledge, walang power because knowledge is power okay, maraming maraming po salamat